Are you seeing my screen now? Yes, we are. Yes. Firstly, uh, firstly, hello guys, hello everyone. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Sabri Sharif. Uh, I am uh, HEC country manager in Albla Group uh, in Egypt plant, and uh, I am a technical OSH member. Uh, I have a vast experience in uh, HEC field for more than uh, nine uh, years of experience working in manufacturing, uh, uh, real estate, and the construction fields. Uh, help two plants uh, to demonstrate a rigid load to system by different uh, plant hazards. Uh, uh, I'm asking if uh, uh, any one of you can uh, introduce himself uh, by his name and his uh, job or uh, job title. Mohammed Adil, mechanical maintenance team leader. Peter Nazmi. Peter Nazmi, plus engineer in caps. Abdel Hamid okay. Sayed, mechanical engineer. Abdel Abdelati, mechanical maintenance engineer. Al Sayed, plus engineer, ISBM, ISBM and IM. Okay. Yes, sir, Hamid, infrastructure engineer. Al Abdel Nasser, global team leader. Al Sabri, I am Moed Shawi, I am production manager for, for IM caps, IBM and IM finishing. Okay. Hello. Mohammed Bak, MHCU. Okay. Mohammed uh, Abdrabbo, uh, set up team lead, IM Caps. Okay. This is everyone here, okay? Yes, all is good. I think uh, your experience in uh, Lotto implementation is very good. Uh, because uh, all of you are working in uh, different uh, 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 manufacturing specification and manufacturing uh, fields. Uh, so uh, load implementation or load system uh, setup will uh, uh, be applicable and will be easy to uh, understood. Yes? Yes. Okay, next uh, to the next slide. Uh, today we will uh, um, uh, talking about creating an effective Lotto system, uh, and uh, uh, we will discuss with uh, with uh, with you the uh, most uh, important uh, six steps in Lotto implementation system. Go. Cool. Let's start with outlining uh, the the scope of Lotto uh, system creation. Uh, uh, the scope uh, of uh, lot of implementation is to secure people who are working uh, uh, and making some services related to machine maintenance, production, or any uh, any uh, services may be uh, carried out. Let's start uh, by what you need to know in this training session. What is the scope of this training? Uh, number two, why lot to uh, tag out? Um, uh, uh, we implement it in a different category or different other category, and what it's mean. Number three, uh, let's discuss the six essential elements of uh, lot to uh, look out tag out system. Uh, number four, uh, the the seven steps uh, for isolating equipment. How to isolate equipment? How to secure the equipment to uh, make some services? Uh, five, the outcomes of this training, uh, by, by outlining all these uh, terms, we can uh, uh, have outputs or outcomes from this training. It will be uh, uh, understood and it will be remembered while making some service. And the last one is a questionnaire about uh, the, our training topic. So let's, let's uh, move to uh, read the scope of this training session. Uh, by outlining the, the proper steps to build the typical uh, Lotto system and some steps below uh, this procedure to outline the scope of this uh, procedure. We have uh, the, the first one is related to uh, Lotto guideline programs. You, uh, you need to install or uh, establishment or uh, demonstrate a guideline or a program for Lotto implementation. Number two, is uh, specific tasks for every machine procedure. Uh, this mean uh, you uh, you need to know what about uh, the uh, the acti specific activities related to 
uh, your uh, your service. If you make some uh, some services related to infrastructure, you need to know what is activity. Uh, uh, you need to know and uh, review the uh, load to standard, the load to specific uh, procedure to know uh, the location or identify the location of uh, isolation. Number three, identifying the energy isolate locations. Uh, this is uh, established in the specific task. Uh, number four, provide a proper load to devices. You need to know what you need to uh, uh, to use while uh, isolation uh, the, the identification location. Number five, training with load to spot to check. When uh, someone have a gamba walk or uh, make an audit on the uh, authorized person who make a uh, low to implementation, he need to uh, know what what's a low to spot to check and uh, what it's deal with and uh, what's the feedback and what is the input of this template. The last one is sustainability is uh, in uh, uh, implementing the low to system and what is the scope of sustainability and what is the, uh, the outlining or the outputs from sustainable uh, sustainable load to system. Number two is understanding the load to what's mean and why it matters. Load to is isolating the energy source of uh, some uh, machines to make uh, some services related to this machine. Uh, if we ask um, uh, uh, engineer Yasser Hamid, uh, if you uh, make some uh, maintenance or some service related to your uh, shellers or compressor, what, uh, what, what's the first step? In isolating the energy source or implementing lot to uh, uh, or may, making a lot of implementation itself, can you can you answer? Our first step, we isolate the electrical electrical power to the chiller from the supply itself, from the electrical panel supplied power to the chiller itself. Okay. By the lot to and the loop itself from the board that we have, uh, as you know, every everyone has a lock and. Uh, write it his name on it and yes. uh, after we get it we locked the, the circuit main circuit breaker that we are going to make a maintenance for the chiller it's related to the chiller that we are going to make a maintenance for it uh, okay. and after that i also i i, I locked or i isolate also the main power uh, switch or circuit breaker for the chiller itself from inside okay, okay. The, uh, it's, uh, it's very good. Your answer is very good, but, but we need, need to support this answer with a lot to uh, lot of procedure, lot of specific procedure for uh, uh, somehow you can make lot of implementation. When you make some uh, isolation for the shellers, you need to identify uh, the, the specific tasks you need. If you uh, make some tasks related to changing filters or making some uh, uh, something or some service uh, like of this, you can uh, uh, review the lot of specific procedure. Yes? Yeah, you are right. Okay. After that, uh, lot of, in a simple way is uh, uh, making, uh, making uh, an isolation for uh, some um, uh, location. Uh, that are identified in the lotto uh, spot, uh, spot procedure. A tag out is only uh, 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 a label uh, that that uh, that uh, put our uh, clearly communication to the workers, uh, makes them uh, uh, aware and uh, uh, warn about the uh, the hazards they that may be um, face. The question here: What are uh, you doing in your plant? when you make equipment service can anyone uh, uh, answer this question anyone can can ask can can answer thank you sir uh, yes the when we uh, make the the maintenance for uh, any machine, we have to uh, make the uh, lot to uh, for uh, all equipment. Uh, like if we need to uh, close the the, the, the bow, main power, uh, main air, uh, main water, uh, and uh, uh, after that we have to check uh, that the, the, the lot is implemented uh, well. 
uh, also with uh, look out and tag out uh, named with the, the, the person who is responsible for the uh, this team. Yes, and also, and also, and also the maintenance department uh, informed the production uh, machine operators or the buckers to uh, avoid the how to eliminate any accidents during the just the maintenance of this machine. Yes, it's related to the affected person. You are right because they are not related to the service that uh, we carried out. When some maintenance carried out, uh, some affected person related to production, they not uh, they need to be aware where uh, while uh, uh, working beside these uh, maintenance services. Yes, you are right. Thanks for for all of you about your answers. It's very good. Yeah. Uh, the uh, uh, number three. We can discuss the six essential elements of lookout tagout system. We will uh, uh, start with the log, uh, load to uh, guideline program. Uh, outlining the load to outline program is the first uh, step to demonstrate a, 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 a strong uh, load to system uh, because it's uh, it's about a written uh, lookout document is uh, the skeleton of our uh, overall lookout uh, program. Uh, and it's essential to establish and explain the element of your program. So it will discuss the uh, last, uh, the next uh, five steps of isolating. Uh, number two, specific tasks for every machine procedure. This is what uh, what you, what we are discussed about uh, uh, about it because it's uh, collect all specific locations that you need to uh, isolate, blocking, on securing equipment. Uh, and to control hazard energy, as well as the steps of placement, remove, uh, removal, and the transformal uh, uh, of like out, tag out uh, devices. We will discuss the first uh, uh, the first uh, piece of this template. It's about the mag magnitude and about the uh, hazard uh, uh, locations and the hazard types, rules of the authorized and uh, equipment person. Um, uh, and what is the steps uh, of placement of uh, these lo uh, locks? What you need to 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 make while uh, lot of implementation. The next step is related to the lot of location specific lot of locations on the machines. Uh, so you can identify the uh, uh, the hazard. You can uh, uh, you will be you will face to the authorized and the equipment person. You uh, need to, to uh, outline the specific location of the uh, lotto and uh, some devices you uh, need to uh, to use and how to make a check out or try out after making a lotto implementation. The third uh, piece is related to the activity itself. So you uh, you are now uh, defining the magnitude and the places or the uh, uh, locations of hazard, then uh, steps of uh, isolation. And last one is the displacement of load two and the procedure of the displacement of load. After that, you can make the identification in the next or the second step. You can uh, know the location of isolation and uh, uh, what is the proper equipment that you need to, to, to use while isolation. The last one, uh, last step in this template is related to the activity itself. When you make some activities related to production, such as mold changing in plastic packaging or uh, uh, making some uh, uh, changing colors in some uh, production uh, material, uh, you can isolate from emergency button and uh, air and water. So this uh, procedure or a specific task procedure will outline what you need to know and what is the specific location for isolation itself. OK. Uh, if anyone have a question here. Hello. OK, let's move to the next slide. It's related to uh, a specific task. Uh, uh, this is the picture from uh, 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 an energy location. So uh, the question here, what can you understand from this picture? Can anyone answer? I think uh, it's talking about the electrical uh, hazard. Okay. Something. 
ask about the the isolate of the lecterican. Okay. And, and, your, and the procedure uh, written uh, at it. Yes, yes. It specifically uh, uh, illustrates that we have a specific task for this location. So it's mentioned in the tag and the uh, the middle of the uh, electrical uh, equipments. In the left one, you can see that uh, there is a magnitude of the energy source. E1 is uh, uh, about the identification of energy source, electrical uh, device number one. Uh, so you need to isolate from the electrical uh, device number one in the specific task. So uh, this picture is illustrate the specific procedure for the machine and uh, what is the identification uh, location and what is the uh, look location that you need to uh, isolate to uh, uh, release all energy sources and to um, uh, try out, make a try out after that uh, reference to the procedure to uh, ensure that all energy sources and the energy sources mentioned in the specific task are completely, completely shut off. Okay, it's clear now? Yes. Okay, let's move to the next steps related to the essential elements of lookout tagout. Uh, it's uh, related to identifying energy isolate locations. Uh, this uh, this step is mentioned in the uh, the last uh, the last presentation or the last slides because it's mainly uh, defining in the specific procedure and it's mainly uh, uh, identified in the guideline and uh, it's now specifically illustrated that you need to to put a tag out or a, a tag uh, related to the uh, energy isolation control points such as valves, switches, breakers, or plugs. Uh, set uh, and these um, tags need to be uh, permanently placed and the standardized label or tags. Reference to guideline. If you have uh, four uh, energy sources or five energy sources in your machine, you need to uh, uh, hang out all of these uh, tags to outline the uh, isolation location for this task. In a specific way, we have some pictures here. Uh, uh, in the last uh, slide, in the negative, last slide, you can see that electrical source uh, mentioned here in the uh, in the, uh, in the uh, this picture is related to the electrical source and the uh, gas uh, gas uh, gas um, electrical source in the machine. If you machine if your machine is involved in gas uh, system or working with LPG system. The next step is related to the essential element of load to location. It's well identified here. What is the steps? If, if these steps is important in load to procedure or not, this uh, uh, this question is about uh, is asking about the uh, importance of identification step. In your opinion, this step is uh, uh, important or not? Can anyone answer this question? I'm going to view this. Uh, this step is very important for the Zaruto procedure. We need to identify energy isolation locations to yes. know uh, all sources uh, for the the energy to uh, to isolate it before working on the machine. Yes, yes, it's right. It's clear for all for for everyone. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. We can move. Okay. We can move to the next slide. It's uh, providing the proper load to devices. Uh, this step is very important because you can use uh, some uh, some load to equipments or some uh, load to isolation equipments. It's not proper with the job or the task. Uh, if you, uh, for example, if you uh, make some isolation for the uh, circuit breaker, uh, solo circuit breaker or uh, sealed bond. Uh, you can uh, use the equipment uh, individual one related to the circuit breaker or you can uh, if you if you isolate from some uh, uh, valves related to air or water you can use non proper one and uh, here the lotto is not essential or it's not uh, uh, effective because uh, you used uh, some proper uh, some uh, uh, not proper equipment to uh, be isolated This is uh, some examples to uh, electrical lookout 
equipments and this is related to the mechanical lookup uh, uh, equipments in case of you uh, need to isolate this uh, circuit breaker uh, or this circuit breaker or the last one everyone have uh, uh, specialized uh, energy uh, um, effectiveness uh, control energy source because you need to minimize the, the, the risk of this accident uh, that happened to from the uh, electrical source. So if you need to uh, isolate some uh, RCD or uh, uh, GFCI or some uh, protection system inside the electrical panel, you need to uh, choose the proper device in isolating these uh, uh, parts. Uh, to engineer Abhamid, if you use it uh, before in isolating the uh, your equipment source, uh, electrical source. Can, can, can you repeat the, the the question, please? If uh, this is uh, this is question for uh, engineer Abhamid, if he used uh, this electrical uh, equipment in isolating the electrical source related to the uh, thumb machines. Yes, uh, we, we we use it for the uh, circuit breaker, and also we can use the, uh, another one for the emergency uh, button. But yeah, we can use it uh, at uh, also for the the uh, MCCB. Yeah, we can use it. Yes, yes, it's, it's correct and it's right. But uh, what's what what about the uh, effectiveness of these equipments? Yeah, it, uh, uh, it works well with uh, us. Uh, after that, uh, we isolate with this uh, uh, with this tiles, and we test the, the the if there is a voltage at the machine or not, and if there is no voltage, so it uh, works uh, probably well with us. Yes, it's important to start in isolating uh, or implementing uh, load to implementation because you need to look out, tag out, and implement look out, tag out, and you need to make a try out. And this step you are mentioned is uh, the most important step in isolating or implementing load to implementation. It's uh, very, uh, very, very good. Yeah, uh, the thank you. It's, uh, uh, the next question is related to the mechanical lookout um, uh, uh, equipment. So this question for uh, engineer Muhammad Adel, if you uh, use this uh, equipment in isolating the uh, uh, energy sources related to uh, 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 water or air valves, please you can support hear your answer, please. Okay, this is for um, uh, for valves and um, right. Uh, yes, valves, uh, air valves, and uh, uh, water valves. Okay. Uh, if uh, I'm asking if it's uh, effective yes. in while implementation or not. Yes, of course it uh, must be uh, effective after we release pressure. We put uh, we close uh, all valves and then we put uh, load to target uh, tag out uh, for these uh, valves. Okay, thank you. So uh, now we uh, we will uh, talking about the seven steps for isolating equipment. Number one is preparing for shutdown. If you can, uh, if you need to make some service uh, for uh, for a machine, you need to prepare for shutdown the machine. Uh, then you can uh, you need to clear the area uh, of your uh, maintenance and put uh, some uh, uh, barricades. Uh, for uh, uh, ensuring that the, the place or the workplace related to the machine is secure and uh, suitable for work. Then you can communicate to uh, the uh, make some call for uh, from the machine uh, to call the maintenance service to can make a service uh, or activity service in this uh, machine. After that, you need to shut down, uh, shut down the, the, the energy source to ensure that uh, there is no energy uh stored inside this uh, uh location for uh, for example in if you if you need to um, uh, isolate the uh, energy source related to uh, pr uh, oil pressure or uh, water pressure then you need to isolate the energy source by uh, implementing lockout tag out uh, procedure as we mentioned in the first uh, slide after that you need to uh, release all the stored uh, energy inside the uh, the uh, isolation location or the inside the uh, uh, machine. 
Okay. This is this is the sickest step. Please, we can mute the, the voice. Uh, number seven, we uh, we need to check uh, our work if uh, or make a tryout if uh, this uh, lot of limitation is uh, is um, uh, working properly and it's uh, now. Uh, you need to verify the is isolation if it's uh, very good or not. Okay. After that, uh, the last one is related to lotto uh, devices removal. This is the end. Anyone see uh, see this video? Everyone sees this video? Yes. Okay. The question here: What's the most important step in lot implementation? Reference to the video. Identify uh, identify the 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 electrical the electrical which we should uh, uh, look it look it out. Okay. Uh, then. We we put the, the the look and the tag, but but yes. I think it is the the power of the. Yes, it's about a uh, lot of implementation itself. It's the several steps in isolating equipment. You need to to isolate all energy sources and de-energize the uh, 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 tubes from the uh, offer pressure. Uh, and to uh, ensure that all uh, equipment is de-energized and there is no residual energy inside the machine. And to secure this, uh, and uh, uh, secure the, the load implementation by load, the lockout, tagout, and to ensure that everything is okay and uh, it's safe to uh, start this operation. Okay? Anyone have a question? He should uh, he should make try out uh, after uh, after those after implement the the lookout tag out. Yes, it is the most important step in this video. It's the mo most remarkable uh, uh, point in this video because uh, you need to uh, to uh, ensure that the lot implementation for this is uh, uh, for the the equipment is very good and it's working well. Yes, it's true. Thank you, Mohammed. Welcome. The question here if authorized and the equipment and the competent employee can implement Lotto uh, depend on uh, this uh, on his uh, ex uh, own experience. Can anyone answer this question? Uh, Engineer Wael, can you uh, answer this question, please? I you have to be, uh, you have to be, uh, يعني, to have a training or uh, to be, uh, to have an experience. يعني, not the, the experience not enough for uh, implementing the lot. Yes, be, because when you uh, make some uh, uh, lot of implementation, you need to, uh, the authorized and the equipment employee itself, himself, but you need to, the lot of check, you need to, the guidelines, you need to, uh, uh, the, uh, the the choosing the proper equipment and isolating the energy sources and you need to know everything about the lot implementation procedure and guideline let's review the the guideline of lot implementation and follow up the uh, seven steps in isolating the equipment and then uh, uh, depend on your experience in uh, outlining the energy location and the energy source but in the guideline, it mentions that defining the load to location and the isolation location, then uh, identifying the uh, uh, the load to location reference to the activity. And this is mentioned in the load to specific uh, for every machine. So the own experience it's, uh, itself is not the main uh, the main aspect you need to depend on while uh, implementing the load to implementation. Okay. Okay. If it's clear for you. Everything, yes. everything is clear. Okay. Yes. Yes. Clear. 
the next the next uh, part is related to the training of load to spot check if uh, uh, some employees uh, are trained and uh, are uh, competent to uh, uh, and authorized to ensure that uh, load to implementation is very good and uh, is uh, in a safe place on a safe manner you need to uh, um, uh, identify the affected persons and to ensure that the affected person and the authorized person are uh, trained well and they are known about the lotus bottle check and uh, because in lotus bottle check you need to define the magnitude define yourself about your name and job uh, title uh, then what is the activity you are carried out the last one if uh, anyone from uh, out so outside the organization from a third party or another contractor making some activities he must mention that he is not uh, uh, related to the plant because uh, this is uh, vulnerable workers or vulnerable uh, peoples that uh, may uh, uh, not aware with the uh, hazard location and may uh, some accident may happen when they dealing with the machines and is not, not aware for all hazard location in this machine okay uh, after that uh, they uh, can give us the feedback uh, in the uh, load to uh, in the uh, uh, specific uh, load to specific and load to uh, spot check they need to outline the feedback from uh, implementing the lotto and what is the obstacles that they are facing while uh, lotto implementation okay okay the first uh, piece of load to spot check is uh, as we mentioned is related to the observer uh, who uh, is making the audit uh, for example the safety officer uh, after that, the task performed. What is the activities performed on the machine is identified by the uh, technician or engineer himself. Uh, by uh, by this uh, by identifying the task performed, you can review uh, the lot specific and ensure that uh, it's related to the uh, task that uh, we carried out. The equipment uh, as mentioned, the equipment. For example, if we have uh, dealing with uh, some machine blowing or arm caps or uh, assembly, you can mention the equipment and the serial number of it site if we uh, uh, where we dealing the date and the lot number uh, uh, that you are use name of the uh, uh, experienced or observed people uh, if they are mentioned inside uh, the uh, the company uh, or this related to the employees of the company and this related to the third party is not involved inside this location and uh, some question related to if the equipment is uh, uh, moved uh, some parts is moving while uh, implementation or not and are the energy uh, uh, locked or not you can uh, choose uh, yes or no from this the next one is related to the magnitude uh, guidance of the uh, load to uh, procedure assessment if uh, some machines is not uh, some some locations is need to be uh, controlled by the lotto uh, and what is the uh, energy that uh, you have uh, um, dealing with electrical uh, uh, hydraulic thermal on another uh, uh, energy after that uh, the last one is related to the feedback from the employee and what is the, uh, what is the observation of the employee uh, if if he make a division or the best practice in this lot specific and the feedback from the employee if him if he has some obstacles some issues related to the uh, applying lotto so we, we can discuss and review the risk assessment and uh, make some modification and put the, some control measure related to this if the content uh, uh, if there is uh, uh, needed actions uh, needed after the, the feedback of the employee so you you have now uh, two comments the the number one is related to the authorized uh, audit person who make some uh, observation he is um, uh, his observer of the lotto specific form and the last one is related to the employee who uh, uh, carried out or performed the lotto uh, or implemented the lotto uh, procedure so he can give you the feedback about how he can overcome the obstacles that he uh, are face and uh, uh, what is the control measure needed to uh, support this point and to close this point uh, to be uh, uh, implemented well without any restrictions and you can give them the due dates of this uh, control measure okay if anyone have a question here no thank you
the next one is uh, uh, what's uh, the question here if anyone violate any of load two implementation steps or uh, forget any of them i'm asking you about uh, uh, dealing inside your plants if uh, anyone have uh, any violation here yes okay can you mention any uh, activity or the any uh, story about this violation some employee, some employee during uh, the lot to uh, implementation, they forget uh, to put uh, the tag out. And then I don't know uh, who uh, who lock uh, the machine. Yes. So it's important for us to 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 uh, teach them how to implement uh, uh, the lot to in in a good way by uh, putting the tags uh, inside the, the lock when they lock out uh, the machine. Yes, it's very important. Uh, to violate uh, some people who are uh, not implementing the lot implementation reference to the guideline and you need to ensure that all uh, uh, procedures are uh, demonstrated on a good condition and a proper way uh, uh, and to ensure that uh, every steps are uh, implemented good and without any uh, deviations or restrictions okay thank you Mohammed. to the last Welcome. step to the last step is the sustainability is finally uh, uh, need to outline the, the importance of sustainability steps because you have uh, uh, to maintain a good and the proper techniques and method and good practices for people who uh, uh, implementing the lot too because you you are know that this creates a safety culture that proactivity address the isolation because uh, it's a proactive one because uh, you, if you spread the culture of lot implementation or in your organization, you uh, you are in the sustainability way or the first step in the sustainability way. Because uh, culture means that uh, what what you uh, dealing or what you behaves when no one is watching. So if uh, the observer is not in place or there is no uh, uh, audits or any inspections in the place, the uh, assigned person will be behaves uh, safely and we we uh, will implement lot to in uh, be, be, uh, without any restriction or without any observer, uh, without anyone seeing him uh, while implementation of lot. So it's very important to create a safety culture in our environment and in our workplace and uh, for uh, enforce this uh, step because it's the most important step in this uh, procedure and not to procedure because if you have a guideline, if you have a specific procedure, if you have a, a, an energy isolation location uh, identified and uh, uh, properly and identified and permanently uh, uh, checked, and if you have a, a, a proper uh, load to devices, uh, we're choosing. And if you uh, train the, the persons, but if you make all of these steps without the sustainability, is nothing. If you uh, not implement the sustainability, uh, there is no uh, effectiveness in this cycle. So you need to uh, uh, be sustainable, and uh, your employees need to be new to need to spread the culture of implementing load to. Uh, in your organization and in workplace to avoid any violation that may be arrived uh, some accident uh, related to non-sustainability of these steps. Okay. Okay. Outcomes may uh, uh, give me give us uh, some question uh, that uh, uh, if uh, if if um, uh, all of these uh, outcomes or of these uh, steps are uh, in our place or uh, we miss a few of these steps. We can start with the machine specific procedure that we are uh, mentioned. Are your employees trained or, 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 or on them? Can any was, uh, anyone ask some question related to this? Or answer a question? Yeah, all employees trained on the uh, lookout, tagout uh, procedure. procedure. Okay, thank you. So another step is related to fully stocked lookout, tagout station. If your stations inside your workplace, if you, uh, for example, if you're working inside the production hall, if uh, they updated and uh, follows uh, stocked load to and tagout station or not. So we have one IPS production hall. Okay. Can you over team the team and the machine operator? If we have any problem uh, during the, the normal production, we yes. need to give the 
the power or the energy station. We we use it. Yes, yes, it's very good to make this, and the, uh, it's very good to be updated uh, as well in all uh, location and uh, uh, among all uh, varied locations. Yeah, it's, uh, it's updated and uh, monthly reviewed. And, uh, we uh, provide uh, spare, uh, in which we need uh, uh, another uh, lookout or tag out. Then we find okay. it in uh, in the stock. Okay. Thank you. To the next step. You can uh, outline the permanent identification labels. Are they easily identifiable or not? Okay. If he, if if they are uh, easily identified, if they uh, they are uh, uh, in place or uh, distinguished or uh, released by the uh, the means of uh, cleaning, housekeeping, anything like this, can any uh, one answer this question? Yeah, it should be uh, at uh, its place to uh, uh, to to be easy for anyone to go directly to the the uh, place we can look it out. Yes, it's very good, and this is correct. But we uh, need to outline if these permanent identification labels are in place. Yes, uh, they are in place. But is the status of them? If if they are distinguished, if they are uh, released because uh, of uh, housekeeping or some detergent like chemicals or another uh, or something like this, you can uh, any packers uh, make some uh, cleaning for a machine and he can release it uh, by the chance or by. Uh, he is not aware by by the label is uh, signed out because if anyone uh, can make some identification or some uh, services like uh, a lot of implementation, he can uh, lose the, uh, the the ability of identifying the lot of location that he must implement. Okay. All all uh, all the energy sources are labeled inside the, the plant. Yes. Thank you. The last one, the, the, the next one is related to the locks tag out devices. Uh, the question here is where they easy to find and the proper devices on the uh, for the types of equipment or not. So you need to uh, find out if the devices or locks or tags are uh, suitable and uh, working properly with your uh, uh, system. The last one is a training posters. This uh, do this align with our uh, with your uh, employee training because this is uh, working as a refreshment training. You can you need to uh, make a poster, and this poster is uh, having the assigned persons assigned uh, and the um, uh, authorized persons and uh, the steps of isolating the equipment and the uh, the, the steps to uh, set up uh, uh, the most important steps in the uh, isolation uh, process. So you uh, make this or make these posters uh, to ensure that uh, training you have uh, they have received are refreshed uh, on uh, on uh, among intervals some intervals and this uh, 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 they are ready to review it and they are understand these uh, training posters. Okay. The last one is the questionnaire. Uh, load removal procedure has three main steps. Please put the following steps in the correct order. If uh, you need to remove uh, the locks, what is the three main steps you need to follow up uh, and in the correct order? You can hey. choose. A or B a, or C or D. Restore the work a. area, modify all personnel, and they remove lot to devices. Yes, it's correct. To the next question, before removing the uh, lock, you must do uh, which of the following: the energize the equipment, make sure uh, no one is looking, or make a report, remove the tag. Energize the equipment. Okay. Yes. Number three, which of the following uh, is true of shift changes and low to? When you change the shifts or a shift is changes uh, and low to is applied, what is the, uh, the, 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 the following sentences is uh, correct related to this, changing the shift while uh, implementing low to? Engineer Hamid can answer. Engineer Peter? 
the original shift will remove their lot to devices and the shift coming on will place their own locks. Yes, original shift will remove their load to devices and the shift coming on will place their own locks. Yes, it's very uh, true. The fourth question is the maintenance team has finished their work. Okay, they, they are finished their work on the machine. So they need to remove the lotto. What is should the first step? The first step in removal steps. Uh, I think uh, restore the work area. Yes, that's correct. Restoring the work area, you need to ensure that work area is a proper, in a proper way, housekeeped and uh, 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 proper in a good way. So after that, you can uh, make the next step of uh, after restoring the work area. Thank you. The fifth one is related to what the assessment is through about tag out devices. What do you mean? Uh, what what about the mean of uh, tag out devices? Tag outs, not lock out. Lock outs, it's about a lock, but tag out, it's about the tag. Number eight. Liz, can you mute your voice? A tags are only warning devices. Yes, it's very true. Here you can see some references related to OSHA standard and uh, uh, NC uh, that you can ensure that you can uh, Google it and you can search for these uh, uh, references and you can uh, uh, answer some question related to this. And if you need some additional uh, information, you can uh, provide uh, this uh, or use these references to reach the uh, uh, the uh, the needed information and if you, if you have any uh, question or uh, you need to some information or illustration you can uh, ask me about any question thank you for listening and if you have any question i will be be, be to happen please ensure that the, uh, your opinion and uh, your opinion matters and we need to evaluate uh, the training uh, uh, that we have given today and uh, you are welcome at unitar if we have, yeah, if, have you, if you have any question, I will be, I will be happy to listen. I, ha I have one question. OK. I'm asking if uh, this uh, seven steps is different from the lot implementation or uh, it's the same. Yani no, uh, no, no, I, I, I I'm, I'm understand what you are uh, asking about because the seven step of implementation of Lotto is involved inside the six essential elements of demonstrating a lot to uh, program okay okay because if you uh, if you see the last uh, steps you are see my screen yeah, it's related to the six steps of building the system. OK, so you need now to implement lot. So you need to uh, outline the lot guideline. Firstly, then uh, illustrate the specific task, then identify the energy isolation, then provide a proper uh, lot training. After that, you can make a training and make an, an implementation uh, after uh, after receive a training. OK. So it's not related to the uh, the, the main uh, seven steps uh, of uh, uh, demonstrating a Lotto system, but uh, uh, implementation of Lotto is uh, inserted inside or gasped inside the, uh, the, the the seven steps. After you receive the training, you can apply Lotto. Okay. Here, okay. the seven steps of isolating equipment may becomes after training. Because you 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 are not able to mix all of these steps uh, without training, okay? Without without receiving a training as authorized and a competent person to apply these uh, activities, okay? Now now it's clear. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone have additional question, I will be happy to listen. Anyone have any question? No, all is fine. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will be uh, be happy if we uh, uh, have uh, another meeting or another training session with us. Uh, 
uh, and with all of you, and it's uh, it's very good to 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 uh, uh, um, uh, outlining the importance of Lotto, and it's very uh, uh, effective to uh, uh, to put your inputs in the training and uh, give us some questions illustrating the more additional question about Lotto implementation. Uh, if anyone have any uh, feedback about the training, you can give it to me. Uh, I, I think it's good. We are uh, we are taking uh, new information about the uh, Lotto system and uh, make sure that we are uh, understand all that you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.